developing now. Lots of new things are coming to downtown Greenville. It's hard to keep track of all of them. Several developments are planned for locals and out of towners to enjoy. Take a look. It's a city buzzing with excitement that's continuing to grow. We were here about a year ago, last like October. What do you think of the area? Um, I love it so far. And downtown as we know it is changing. It's up and running. Um, there's always, like you said, new development. Greenville's Design Review Board recently gave the final stamp of approval for two new downtown developments. Spinks Downtown Market and Eatery at the former site of Cook Station will offer quick service food and outdoor seating right on Main Street. And a 19 story mixed use tower will feature over 260 residential units, a garage space with more than 400 parking spaces and space for retailers. I think we're heading in the right direction. That direction is up. It's now a fenced in sight on North Academy Street between Buncombe and College Streets that will soon feature the 225 foot tall building among the tallest in Greenville. The last 10 years has really boomed around this area, so uh, more, more power and it'd be great to have things around. A new music venue is also coming to Greenville's West End. That's really exciting. I know we like to go like see any kind of new music. Developers say the site on Red Street will feature several stages for concerts and outdoor space. And across town, three new entertainment venues and restaurants are now a part of the billion dollar redevelopment project at County Square. Roca Point Partners announced this week that Pins Mechanical, Fairway Social and Agave Bandito will join Whole Foods Market and the Perch Kitchen and Tap at the mixed use development. Pins Mechanical will feature a nearly 25,000 square foot venue with bowling, games and more. She's always with me when I come, Yay. so I try to do kid friendly things. Fairway Social is a restaurant and bar with golf simulators. And Agave Bandito will host guests at its Mexican style restaurant, one that will join the new 250,000 square foot county administrative building that opened in July. Residents say they're excited for the new developments in the years to come. Plan to stay here for a while? I think so. I think we'll retire here. And construction will be going on all of those projects over the next several years. Developers with the County Square project say when that's all complete, it will include 3.5 million square feet of new mixed use space for downtown Greenville.